In the previous lesson, I showed this picture. The slice of pie is equal to the knife cutting the pie or the percent times the whole. The part is equal to the percent times the whole. And that would help us answer questions like what is 15% of 90? But wonder if we have a problem where it says 65 is what percent of 80? In this case, we are looking for the percent. What is the knife worth? And so in this particular instance, the way that we would work that would be the percent right here is going to equal the slice divided by the pie. The percent is equal to this fraction of the part over the whole, the slice divided by the pie. So let's work this then. 65 being the part, that's the slice, and 80 being the whole. So we'll divide 65 by 80, and we're going to have a decimal here. 80 will go into 650 eight times. Eight times 80 is 640. Bring down. 80 goes into 100 once. 1 times 80 is 80. Bring down. 80 goes into 20 twice. And 2 times 80 is 160. Subtract and bring down another 0. 80 goes into 400 five times, and that will be even. And so the final answer, 0.8125, that's not exactly the final answer because we need to convert this decimal into a percent. And to convert the decimal into the percent, we move the decimal point over two places, and the answer is 81.25. Let's take another example. Maybe a little simpler. Uh, 14 is what percent of 10? Again, here is the part. Here is the whole. And in this case, actually, the part is bigger than the whole. And we can do that in percents. And I told you earlier, it's a magic knife where the slice can actually be bigger than the original pie. 14 divided by 10. Oops. I put it in the wrong place there. Do this right. 10 goes into 14 once. And 10 goes into 44 times, 1.4. So 14 is one what percent? We're looking for percent. Need to move the decimal point over two places. 140% is the answer. And so to find the percent of a number, the percent we simply divide the part by the whole, or what some people say the is, because this is the is number, divided by the of number. The of number is divided by of gives you the percent. And remember, when you get this decimal answer, you have to convert it into a percent answer. You don't leave it as a decimal. 